So you know the point I made about how subscribers really don't matter? Okay, so I'm looking at Matt the Weasel, Matt Kors, his channel. He has a tremendous amount of subscribers. He has 352,000 subscribers. But in all honesty and fantasy, he doesn't have that many views. <clears throat> he has 66,442,591 views. Now, if you look at Trey, it's kind of the same deal. Now, I understand what you're going to say. You're going to be like, oh, they put out less videos. But that doesn't really make a difference, right? Because we're trying to make the argument, you know, do subscribers really matter more than views? That's the argument, right? So you look at Trey, Trey's Trades, he has 386,000 subscribers. His views are 59 million, which puts him even below Lou. 59,800,918 views, okay? Now you look at Lou, okay? J. Lou, and um, he has, give me one second, 86,000.4. So he is way, way, way behind in terms of subscri you know, subscriptions from um, Matt the Weasel Cores and uh, Trey, right? But Lou's views are 63,532,887. That's a lot. I mean, he's, he's pretty much almost at 64 million views. So it's just, this is what my point is. It goes to show you, like, subscriptions are not really what matter, okay? Because if having a lot of subscriptions would then ultimately result in you having a lot of views, then Matt Cause would have more, you know, more views that he has. Trey would have more views. Trey has less views than Lou. So is it possible that a father could outproduce all of these people in views having 10,000 subscriptions? Absolutely yes. And it's going to happen. Okay, I know everybody keeps saying December uh, 21st, fine. We'll leave it at that. It's going to happen by December 21st of this year, 2022. I'm going to have more views in all of them.